Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. As you may have seen from other videos, we often like to review questions from subscribers and provide replies that will be helpful for everyone. Here are some common inquiries and remarks that we've received from subscribers. I always feel as if I have lost control when having a panic attack, but I'm able to get hold of myself typically. However, my largest fear is that of passing out and not being able to control my body when I do. I've heard you cannot pass out when you're having a panic attack. Is this true? Does anxiety make you feel sick all day, like you're going to vomit or have a heart attack? Does it cause headaches? When reviewing these issues, we also noted that many famous actors have even discussed the physical symptoms of anxiety they experience before going on stage such as nausea or diarrhea, for example. In fact, in a spectacular interview with James Lipton, host of Inside the Actor's Studio, even Robin Williams commented that he would experience such a symptom. The American Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders states that one of the symptoms of panic attacks is lightheadedness, or dizziness. Additionally, MedicineNet.com lists physical symptoms of anxiety that can include racing or pounding heartbeat, palpitations, chest pains, stomach upset, dizziness, lightheadedness, nausea, difficulty breathing, a sense of feeling smothered, tingling or numbness in the hands, hot flashes or chills, and trembling and shaking. If you've begun experiencing any of these symptoms without explanation, then your first step should be getting checked out by a medical doctor. A physical checkup can often quickly rule out a physical cause. Now, getting back to the first question, is it true that you cannot pass out when you're having a panic attack? It's not typical to pass out from a panic attack. However, don't just take someone else's word for it you might find it helpful to consider the scenario of passing out. In other words, what would happen? If you think about it, every night when you lay down and go to sleep, you lose conscious control over your body. However, nothing bad happens when you go to sleep. Perhaps instead, you worry about passing out from your anxiety and hitting your head when you fall to the ground. However, the next time you're having a panic attack or becoming anxious, you can simply sit or lie down. You might find this suggestion calming because you eliminate the worry of hurting yourself by passing out. As simple as it sounds, this, in turn, can help you to stop worrying about passing out. Another technique that some therapists use to show their anxious clients they have nothing to worry about is called the experimental technique. This involves the therapist having the client do their best to intentionally try to pass out right in the therapist's office. It's been reported that this can be a helpful process for the client to complete with their therapist to demonstrate that they cannot make themselves pass out. We would like to conclude by sharing some interesting comments made by physician Dr. Alan Abbas. He states, doctors can't find physical causes for pain suffered by one of every six people who comes to the emergency department including three out of four patients who have chest pain and nine out of every 10 patients who have abdominal pain. It's becoming clearer that a lot of these problems are based in emotional distress. We hope that the information in this video has truly been informative and helpful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to Panic Attack Recovery on YouTube and follow us on Twitter. If you would like references to the information presented in this video and or additional tips and information concerning anxiety, panic attack, and agoraphobia recovery, please visit our website and subscribe to our free newsletter.